What's up, motherfucker? Cloud for days! What is up, YouTube? And welcome to another Busta and Crew Reviews with me, a dude, reviewing for you, you vape-tastic people out there. What is up? What is happening? How the hell you living? Well, I personally hope you're all living well. Today, we're going to be doing a review on BJ Box Mods slash Broadsides Admiral. Look at that resin button. Beautiful. I got my Kennedy 25 brass on top of this. Brass Admiral. I got this at the National Vape Expo here in Connecticut at Foxwoods. For the release, um, as of now, I still don't see it online for purchase, but I wanted to be one of the first people to show it to you, because I am a Broadside fanboy. I love my Broadsides. I've had them since, like, end of October, November. I got my first Broadside. Then I immediately bought another Broadside, so I got a copper and a brass Broadside, and I got the Brass Admiral. But before I go any further... I like to first dive down deep, deep down south, and check this broadside admiral out. All right, people, here we are, deep, deep down south with the BJ Box Mods Broadsides Admiral. This is a 2700 battery tube mod all right i got this over at the national vape expo in foxwoods on top you're going to see broadside on the bottom you're going to see bj box mods okay and as you've seen the admiral and i picked the brass there was also copper and white brass I, the white brass was beautiful, but they said it had a little bit of a voltage drop compared to the regular brass or copper. So I was like, I'm going to go with brass. I do like copper, but it is a lot to clean sometimes. Brass, you got to clean too. Copper, you seem to need to clean a few days before the brass. So here's the nice case it comes in. But before I show you the Admiral, what's inside the tube? What's in there? Sheesh, well first, knock this down here. Come on, come on out. I just gotta give a little bit of work here. A little bit of work to get the stuff out. Well first we'll do the paper that's in there. What do we got? Okay, first things first. Got some instructions. Admiral. Just like the broadside, you got to put the battery facing down. And the success suggestions for the devices are follow as followed. Um, so it tells you to use the Sonyo 3100 Ma or any similar related 2700 for 18650 sleeve. Samsung 25R, which is my favorite. LG HD2, VCT4, VCT5s. Those are the only batteries I buy. Suggest you do not leave the battery in device unattended. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. There we go. So that's nice to have. Okay, especially if you don't know it. I mean, www.broadsidemods.com. Good times. What else is in the tube? Let's see here. 
They don't make it easy to tell you that. All right. Ah. All right. We got it out. Authenticity certificate. All right. We got a signature. This was made on April 14th, 2017. We got number 154. Good times. Good times. We got broadside on the other side. There we go. Put that aside. What else is in the tube? And the last but not least, we got extra O-rings for our contact. There we go. And now, time for the star of our show. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. 154. She is beautiful. There's our button. Now, when you first get the button, it's going to be really hard to press. But the O-ring does break in. And it does get easy, easier. So unlike the broadside, this one does not say broadside. It says Admiral. And why not? Because it is the Admiral. There's our top, just like the broadside. So basically this is about 5 millimeters taller. And, and uh, so it can handle the battery. Okay, inside, right now. We got the sleeve. Oh, got a little bit of oil on there. I oiled her up yesterday. Inside, we got the sleeve for the 18650 battery. There's your vent holes. There you go, because venting does go down on this, so it doesn't vent on your face. And what you do here is you just slide your battery in. Samsung 25R. And there you have it. And now it'll work like the 2700. There you go. That's nice to know, right? All right. Inside. There we go. Okay. Unlike the broadside, this is not lined with the Delrin. Um, I believe that's so it can fit that battery in there without changing the specs. This is a 25 millimeter round tube. So we'll change the specs just like the same diameter as the broadside. This is a floating pin, so it does come right out. Don't panic if it falls out on you. It's supposed to. Just like the broadside, it goes counterclockwise and, and clockwise. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that brass, huh? Woo! All right. And these threads are super smooth, and it does hold on nice, so it doesn't unscrew on you easily. And there's your button. Okay, comes right out. Like I said, I did oil her up, so I have a little bit of 3-in-1 oil going on here. Beautiful, beautiful brass. And here is where the O-rings go, around this thing here, which makes contact to the edges of the mod. I'm not going to take this fully apart. You could always go see my other review of the broadside if you want to see a little more. Maddie Ice also does a beautiful review on this for over at Convicted Vapes. You want to check that out. But here we, here he is. All silver plated contacts. And when you press it down, it's the side. So no matter where you press, middle, side to side, you're going to get contact. Okay. Now, this is cool. They started making some buttons using resin. Look at that. These buttons are like 15 bucks on the BJ Box Mod website. You pop that in there. Now instead of a black button, got a cool color button. Oh yeah. Put that on there. Woo! It's beautiful, isn't it? Alright, so now. Let me show you these cool 2700 batteries. It's going to come with one. I got two here because I bought an extra one. Because that's how I go. Okay. It comes with these iJoy. So I think for about 170 180 bucks, you're going to get the tube mod along with the iJoy 2700. It's 300 ma. 
It says high rate 40 amp, but I believe this is a 30 amp. It's not a 40 amp. I think iJoy is planning on making the 40 amp, and they just use these wraps. Uh, this is not a 40 amp, but it is a really good battery. It works very well. Here we go. So when you pop that in, it's going to go this way. Woo! All right. Also, check this out. They made their own battery case. Nice. Broadside. And you will get a battery, and it's going to have some battery safety paper in there, which I took out. Okay, so now I'm going to take me my Kennedy 25 millimeter. All right, and I'm going to put it on this bad booger. I'm going to have this all the way down. It is a floating pin, so when you do this, There we go. I've adjusted for it. And then for battery rattle, I'll do a little bit of that. Make sure there's no tears on your battery because this is not lined with the Delrin like the broadside was. Is. A little too much. we go beautiful look at that it's a beautiful mod people and it's a little comparison for you it's a little bit shorter like I said about five millimeters you see that's the space there, there we go Both beautiful mods, Broadside and the Admiral. All right, people, I'm going to take this back up. I'm going to vape on it. I'm going to talk about it. See you in a minute, peeps. Oh, hello there. And welcome back up from down south with this Admiral from Broadside. I'm loving this thing. I'm good, Chuck. And like I was saying, I did get this at the National Vape Expo at Foxwoods here in Connecticut. And there is no real place to find this online right now. It is new. That was the release last Saturday, May 6th. And, um, and so I'm going to use the broadside bjboxmod.com for a little description. So there is no Delrin insulator in here for the 2700. There is for the... 18650 for the extension tube um, so that is Delrin so that is insulated so just in case you still want to use the broadside that way or the Admiral I should say you do have that option okay so basically this is a 25 millimeter in diameter tube mod it is about five millimeters taller than the actual broadside so this is this is like the part two if you will with those 20 700 batteries you get much more much more vapage out of it about um, around a hundred more ma or a thousand more ma <laughs> something like that yeah <laughs> around a thousand more ma okay so it is not insulated anymore but it's a mechanical button with three points of contact no springs or magnets needed as you've seen below this helps to reduce hot button and misfires so yes the only time I've ever got a misfire on a broadside is because I wasn't cleaning it right. And I adjusted the pin wrong. I had it out too long. You put it together and... <sighs> that's my bad. These things these things always do a good job. They're very safe. That's why I like them. Um, okay, so silver contacts. No hybrid connections and no accidental shorts from using the wrong atomizers. That's nice. A floating silver pin on top. Proper vent holes, direct venting downward and away from your head and eyes. So if it does happen to vent, it comes shooting out here. So it won't come here. It'll go there. Right through the button. It's got four 
vent holes on, around the butt, and there's four points of venting. As you can see here. See the four little holes? There's one there, one there, one there, one there. So it goes out that way. And works with many 18650s. Please use high amperage, high drain batteries. So, yeah, use your high drain, <laughs> high drain batteries. So for the 18650 part. And gives you this cool case with it. This is the iJoy 2700. 3000 ma. Instead of your 2100 ma or your 2500 ma. You're getting 500 to 1000 more ma. We'll say that. It's very nice. Just make sure there's no tears in them. This does not have the Delrin insulator for the 2700s. All right. So I believe this. I paid 160 for this. So I believe they're going to be around 170, 180 online. So I got a little little break for the release, which was nice. This tube's awesome. It can handle many builds. I've used um, crazy ass aliens in here, and right now it's just some bitch coils inside my Kennedy because that's how I roll with Kennedys. But it definitely can do the job. And I don't want to ramble forever for you, but what's going to happen is they're going to release it to the distributors first, like uh, certain places where you get your, your mods. Then, after they sell their stuff for a little bit, BJ Box Mods will have it on their website for purchase. And um, like I was saying, there's a copper, there's the brass, and there's a white brass. The white brass is beautiful. Looks gorgeous. But um, they told me it was a little bit of, more of a voltage drop, so you don't get as crazy as a hit so plus i love my brass man a little bit of fingerprint magnet but i just shined it up yesterday so we're looking good looking good but that's all i really got to say about this i don't want to bore you forever oh yeah i'm using some uh this mad craft uh it's called grandma's house it's a butterscotch chip cookie delicioso put some links on the bottom for that and once there's places to purchase this I'll put I'll update the uh, the comment section and put links for this as well. But this has been your dude with another Busta and Crew reviews. Please thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, subscribe, or don't. But please remember the FDA is always trying to take our rights to vape away. Keep signing your petitions, making your phone calls, using your resist bot. And uh, keep vaping on, people. Peace out, YouTube.